The WRAL Severe Weather Center has its hands full in the tropics with a lot happening in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico right now. Meteorologist Kat Campbell joining us now. You are tracking five tropical systems right now, Kat. Yes, five systems with names on the map at the moment. Of course, we have Hillary that impacted the West Coast. We have Nine and Franklin. Those are both set to impact land, but Gert and Emily are unlikely to impact any land. So let's begin with potential tropical cyclone nine. This will soon be tropical storm Harold, and this is the system in the Gulf of Mexico that's likely to make landfall as a tropical storm tomorrow in southeast Texas near the Corpus Christi area. Already tropical storm warnings in effect for that region. The main impact would be heavy rain, but there could be some winds gusting to around 45 miles per hour there tomorrow. Let's talk about the F name storm. We always pay close attention to that one here in North Carolina. It is likely to impact Hispaniola, bring some heavy rain to Puerto Rico as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, and then it continues to move to the north into weaker steering currents where there is the potential that it could strengthen into a category one hurricane. Bermuda will need to keep an eye on this system, but still high uncertainty as we get to the end of this track just because once it passes over Hispaniola, there just isn't anything concrete steering it. So we'll keep an eye on Franklin for you in the coming days. As of right now, none of the model plots carry it into North Carolina. Of course, all eyes have been on Hillary, now just remnants as it's brought heavy flooding rains to the West Coast. Some of these rainfall totals are just remarkable for Southern California, which barely sees any rain typically in August. Over 10 inches of rain reported in spots. Pasadena over five Five inches of rain, Beverly Hills almost five inches, and UCLA over four inches of rain. Definite big impacts there with some of the landslides that we've seen with Hillary as well. Dana. Absolutely, that's what gets so scary. It's so dry, and it can just take down anything with it. All mm -hmm. that water. All right, Cat, thank you. Everything Cat was just talking about uh, on the monitors behind me here: record rainfall, flooding, uh, the landslides and mudslides she mentioned, all unleashed by post-tropical cyclone Hillary, shutting down major roads at this point, leaving no way in or out to certain parts across Southern California. Mike Valerio is in San Diego with the latest and where Hillary's impacts go next. Mother Nature clearly put her mark on us. A record setting mark across much of Southern California. Holy get go. Historic rain, flooding and mudslides as post tropical cyclone Hillary rolled ashore overnight. We have water flowing over the top of roads, mud. Uh, and debris in a lot of places. Palm Springs and much of the Coachella Valley was virtually isolated as floodwaters and mud choked off all access by road. Road clearing has already begun. We've already started to open them. Multiple rescue agencies confirm they had to pluck people from raging floodwaters and the search for more trapped victims continues. Now we're going house to house and making sure that the people that want to get out can get out it wasn't just mud and floods in ventura county residents were rattled by a 5.1 quake sunday luckily there was no significant damage that we found uh, we are still out uh, surveying the areas and the geologists will be getting back to us with major cleanup for southern california ahead hillary is expected to further weaken as it moves inland states west and southwest of california now bracing for major flooding in the hours ahead if you don't need to be on the road, stay warm in your house. In San Diego, I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Fortunately and incredibly, no deaths or injuries in that storm impact area have been reported as of Monday afternoon. More than 54,000 customers, though, are in the dark across California as they work to get the power turned back on. President Biden is set to visit Maui this evening. He and First Lady Joe Biden will take an aerial tour of the devastation there and see the wildfire damage firsthand in the historic town of, of uh, Lahaina. The president is also set to meet with survivors as well as first responders and some other officials there. He is assigning FEMA official Bob Fenton to coordinate a long-term federal response. Fenton has been on the ground there since the fires began earlier this month. And Dan, the president's expected to land there in Hawaii in our five o'clock hour. We hope to bring that to you.